everyone my name is anisena and today i will tell you all about the impurities that can be found in water so let's start there are two types of impurities soluble and insoluble so first let's talk about the insoluble impurities like sand mud and other things that cannot dissolve in water are called insoluble impurities so i have a bowl filled with some sand in it and i have a glass also right over here with filled with water so when i take this spoon and take some sand from this uh, uh, bowl and put it in this glass you can see that glass water has become little brownish so when i stir it well and after stirring it well we can uh, we can have a process called sedimentation so this process will allow the sand to actually settle down in this water and after settling it down the clear water will be in the above and the dirty sand will be in the bottom so when we put this what the clear water inside another beaker with a straw in it this process will become decantation and from this process we can get back the sand and the clear water now i want to tell you all about the soluble impurities like salt and sugar which can dissolve in water are called soluble impurities like i have this salt in it in this bowl and if i take this spoon and take some salt and then put it in this glass of water and stir it well we can see that the salt will eventually get dissolved in it and uh, we cannot see some salt but if we add excess salt we can see that uh, the salt is settling down in, at the bottom so they cannot be removed easily like uh, the sedimentation by the impurities that are insoluble we have to evaporate and boil the water to get the salt back and also the water back so when we do this the salt will still remain in the vessel but the water will eventually change its form to liquid to gas so it will become water vapor and when we cover it with any uh, any thing any plate or something uh, the plate you can see that the plate will have droplets in it so this will show that water is still in the it will still remain on that plate only as it is cold and the vessel is hot so the water vapor is uh, is hot that is why uh, it is light now and it will rise above and then it will hit the dish and the dish is pretty cold because it is not heated yet so you can see that the dish is having some droplets in it so this process will show us that water can be uh, we can get the water back by the process called evaporation thank you